This showed up today. What I'm going to do is uh, double stack them. Game changer, man. Add a second cam. Um, so it's going to be a dual cam eight valve. It's stupid. It's not even funny. It's going to go just like that. And uh, doing a headless ABA block build. Accountancy. Calculation. And so on. And then we worry. Once you start thinking about things, you worry as to what You're not going to see a lot of this ranting nonsense. I just wanted to reach out and say thank you to everybody. Thank you for all the interest. Uh, this is going to be dope. I got a ton of cool stuff lined up for you guys. I'm even thinking about doing an 8 valve torture test. Try and kill one of these under real deal. Sit, sit down, stop making so much noise. We don't have a microphone yet. I know you feel sorry, but just tomorrow. Microphone's coming tomorrow. You can be as noisy as you want. I've put multiple different eight valves through absolute hell and had them not blow up. So I want to literally try to kill one of these under real world conditions. See what kind of uh, what kind of situation you could get yourself into or out of, you know, so you got no oil. I don't know, maybe we'll see how long we could run it on three cylinders, running lean on one cylinder. I don't know. We'll uh, still toss in the idea around. So I haven't really had the time to get this in the garage and get going on it, mainly because I gotta finish cleaning up this disaster. But um, let me get it pushed in the garage today. I'm an idiot, didn't measure the flange sizes, and uh... Measure once, cut twice. Yeah, no. <laughs> so, uh, had the transmission in, ready to go, but transmission's gotta come out, because we gotta put something with 90 mil flanges on it, so, doing that real quick. Get this piece of shit done. We could swap flanges. But then we need new seals. Which we don't have. Let's just get this shit done. We could get the trans swapped in a night, or we could wait a week for seals. Swap, swap trains. trains. Rather than wait a week to get the flange seals that would get torn up when doing the flange swap, uh, we just ran over to Russ's house and grabbed a whole other trans. So we got that in. Once we did that, Russ started working his magic. He's got that all nicey nice on this side. Uh, he's in the process of tidying up this stuff, cutting out all the stuff we don't need. Got the radiator mocked up just to make sure there's nothing funky going on with that. This thing's going to be stuck at my house for the rest of the winter. Alexis asked if she could keep it here for the winter, which is kind of nice because then I'm not in a rush to get it all done in a month or less. So it's nice coming across a couple things that I'd like to f take my time to fix. So once we know all the wiring under the hood is good to go, then I'm going to get the interior back together. Hi, hello. What's up, dude? How's it going? What's going on? How you been? I'm all right. Nelson. Nelson. He works here. <laughs> Get over here. Nelson, come on. Come on. We're going inside. Who's. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Oh what? Fastback. Fastback. Yeah, fastback. <laughs> uh oh. I've been Not trying to get it. No, we just want a notch back. You must not like them very much. Huh? She must not like you very much. She wants you to buy an air cold. I already we, have a bug. Do you? Yeah. What year? Yeah, she's got 74. a 74. 74. It's not a super. It is not a super. Well, it's a 7 or Yeah. <laughs> I had a square back for a little bit. Oh, I think I remember seeing that. That it was, what, rat. Was 71? 70. 70? 70. So it was the one with the big signals and stuff. Yeah. i
EEG block and crank, IE 16 valve rods, 16 valve pistons, 11 to 1 compression. And then the head is port and polished, 288 cams. Um, I think they're... I should really know this because I assembled the head, but I'm pretty sure that they are super tech valves. I think they're one mil over, yeah. Um, it's got a, a tectonics, you know, Mark One header. That's just what's kind of nice about the Mark IV block is like it's the same deck, so like same all high, yeah, yeah so all sixteen valve Mark One parts just work on it. Yep. And you get rid of the the intermediate shaft. Get rid of you know that whole oil pump drive system. You have a chain driven oil pump. You have an internal water pump now. The hoses were pretty straightforward. You know you just kind of like look through the bin or the catalog to see. Oh, the head studs are different. They were custom ARPs because the um, the 16 valves are 11 mil and these blocks are 10 mil. So they're they're like a custom height and cut and everything. We got them from INA. Assam makes them. How long do you think before this is on the dyno? Maybe the end of this week. I have the catch cans like half done. I, have, I just have to like finish some welding and stuff, and I gotta make the, cause I'm gonna make it so that it just like slides into this bracket. But 93, I, I'll be happy if it makes like 150, 160 to the wheels. I'd be happy to be wrong. But that way, you know, I know what we have like into Ben's motor, and he's making like you know. Two, over 200, like right. 230, I think. Ben, what did your Which stupid awesome. motor make on the dyno? 230? The new one, yeah. Yeah, the new one did, yeah. right? Yeah. Two, 223. 223, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's like a lot, a lot of work. making now power wise roughly if i had to guess like 1050 probably so you think it's gonna break the dyno it, it'll shut it down because it's right now the dyno software is only like rated to a thousand i think was that eight five a, it was a personal best right or was it a record <laughs> like i guess yes but now like it's all the all the fucking drama that goes along with it. I don't care, because you know then like it was like a few weeks later. Then like Ed from Forcefed went to like a test and tune went eight fifty one, and people are like, no, it's not a record. It wasn't at an event. Who knows? Yeah, it just becomes so like. What but that it? was you. You said a personal best that day. Oh, definitely. I did it like four times. I went eight seventy, eight fifty three, eight fifty six, eight fifty two. You, just you blew the door off. I did. It's gonna be like modern motorsport look. Like it still has the Porsche wheels on it. It'll have like white lettering and the Herbie. That's so sweet. Modern. 
So it's getting all new paint or just the decals on? No, 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 all new paint. The whole front end was replaced. Quarter panels, hood, aprons. It was just like Sweet. they found damage that had been there from, you know, the 60s Years, and 70s. Yeah.